Hey guys, Talara here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. The party continues to look through the blighted village, and I just went in through a door in one of the villages, and it's brought us into this sort of spooky underground area. So that's where we're picking up today, seeing what we can find down here. Hopefully some good stuff. It is dark, but there's lots of cupboards and sacks. And crates to open. Lots of places for loot to hide. And in here we have... Whoa, what is this? An old forge. Nice. Does anyone know how to forge? Whoa! Using the bellows really makes it... extra fiery. Well... Ooh, a secret door or a wall we can destroy? Let's see if we can find a lever. Ah! I was wondering what we were rolling our perception checks on there. Apparently it was this trap. And hey, here's Highcliff's blueprints. Remember, we found a journal that mentioned some sort of blueprints for masterwork weapons. Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines form the blueprints of three weapons, a greatsword, a sickle, and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements, and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient, susser bark. The susser bark can only be applied to an ordinary, unmodified blade. What? They call for Sousa bark. There's only one place I'm finding a Sousa tree. The Underdark. Okay, well, I'm glad you know that, Gladys, because I sure didn't. But if our journey brings us to the Underdark, I guess perhaps we might be able to uh, make ourselves quite a weapon. Alright, well, that's good to know. Well, actually, I was about to leave, but I forgot about this secret wall we found over here. I'm not sure if we can, like, attack it? Let me switch controls here. Is this something that I can attack? Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. So there's got to be a lever in here somewhere. Okay, so I'm investigating the cracked wall, and it's weak against force damage, so maybe I do need to. Yep. Nice! Okay, guys. Y'all ready to investigate a secret passage? Let's do a short rest. rest. Yeah, nothing wrong with a little rest, right? Good job, Will. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this place looks spooky. Oh, it's so dark. It's called the Whispering Depths. Webs? Oh, no. There's one thing I hate in all this world. Two things. One, octopus. Two spiders. Basically, creatures with an abnormal amount of legs are not my forte. And unfortunately for us, I see spider eggs. Oh, I hate this so much. Okay. Um, I guess we should destroy the spider eggs before they hatch and probably try to eat us. Okay. Something didn't like that. Something? What do you mean something? Oh! Wait, what is that? That's not a spider. That is something called an Edder cap. Oh, there's the spiders. Well, shit. I am not ready for this battle in the slightest. Um, we're definitely at a disadvantage. We're down below. Uh, I do have one idea, though. Do you think we can burn this web? Will has a flask of alchemist fire. Yeah! Nice! Okay, so that'll stop them from coming over. And it brought him down here. Now, Will does know Misty Step. So I'm gonna Misty Step right up here to get a little bit of a good vantage point. Lattice is going to viciously mock this guy. And then... 
Stick him with the pointy end. I'm so sad that there's spiders in here. Ugh. Well. At least it gives me extra incentive to fight, right? Gargantuan Cleave. Swing your weapon with all your might. You can attack multiple targets but become off-balanced. Target is blocked? How? I'm standing right in front of it. There we go. Okay. <laughs> that was hurt. Let's use our action surge and then we can get another hit in. Nice. That guy is down. Good job, Lazelle. She is a beast. She may be unpleasant to talk to, but she's certainly fun to fight with. Okay, I have no idea how these guys saw us from all the way back there. I, maybe they can communicate with telekinesis or something? <laughs> oh yeah, we love having the high ground will, don't we? Now the question is, how do we get the rest of the party up there? <laughs> We've got a potion of speed. What if Gladys knocks that back and then tries to get over to this cragged rock? Dash. Yeah. So if we can get up here, they actually can't get across to us. Well, the spiders are going to be able to because they can phase shift apparently, which is awful. But we'll at least get some good hits in from from here. Can't quite hit him right now, I don't have enough movement, but... Let's do... well, let's leave it for now. I know the combat system in Baldur's Gate is very much hit or miss. I feel like people either love it or they hate it is sort of the the sentiment that I've heard, but for me personally, I really like it. I know it's slow. Some people obviously don't like it because it's not quite so action-focused, but I like just how tactical it is. For me personally, I'm a big fan of tactics-based games such as Fire Emblem. So playing this, it's almost just like a more advanced Fire Emblem, right? You really have to take your time, plan out your moves, focus on your positioning. It's all, it's all super important. All right, if we use Githyanki Psionics Jump, how high can you jump? Is the question. Not that high. Okay. Well. It was worth a shot. <laughs> Try to get them over to that crag rock. Oh, he's gonna come down and fight him anyway. That works too. Alright, well. Eldritch Blast. Okay, Glad. Glad is going to... Maybe now it's time for a scroll, actually. Scroll of Firebolt. Nice. And then if we hit Vicious Mockery... Can we do that on the spider? Yeah, you crusty rogue! <laughs> Alright. can like barely see the spider there. He's like underwater. Wish you could drown. Oh, now you're running away. Okay, good, good, good. I have like low-key regrets about shattering that wall now because it brought us in here, but at the same time, I'm like, just think of all the, the sweet, sweet experience points we're going to get from this. It's going to be worth it, right guys? Right? <laughs> just keep mocking this spider. That's our way to victory. What really worries me is that if there's spiders down here, I'm worried there's going to be like a mama spider. And then I'm just going to have to un uninstall the game. <laughs> it's such a shame, you know? I'm just going to have to uninstall. There's a big mama spider. 
Such a shame. Oof, one HP. I don't know what way that spider's going. Question's gonna be how are we even gonna get over here now that I've destroyed the spider web bridge too? Yeah, we'll figure that out. Okay, can I I don't think I can hit him at all from here. Turner's out of sight. Path is interrupted. Yeah, okay. We'll just get her to come up here then. We'll get as close as she can. Yeah, he literally can't get over. That's fantastic for us. All right. Job well. I guess the question is, can we make that jump? I mean, Gladys can't. Let's just wait for that spider to come to us. There we go. It's here. I knew it would be here. Hellish Rebuke did good damage. Very nice. Now, can you see him from there, Shadowheart? Yes. Boom. Whew. Okay. The battle is done. We survived. Spiders are dead. Uh, the issue is, I don't even know if I can get over there now where the other spiders were. I say that like it's an issue, but perhaps it's a blessing. I don't think any of us can make that jump. Oh no, wait, we can. We can. Can the rest of you? One day I'll catch a break. You're getting stuck on those webs. Can y'all jump over here? Lizelle? Yes! I mean, Will can Misty Step. Well, he could if he had a slot. Come on, everybody. I don't know if we're. Yep, there we go. Alright, just you, Shadowheart. Get your jump on, girl. Come on. Come on. Oh, she's immobile. Everyone's just freaking out because they keep standing in webs. Come on, guys. I know, it sucks. Trust me, I probably wouldn't like standing in a web either, but we can do this. Alright. Now the question is, do we feel safe enough to long rest down here? Set up a little campfire? Yeah, we do! Perfect! <laughs> Alright, guys, let's catch our breath. Heal up before we go in and investigate more spiders. I like how the campsite changes depending on where you actually are and resting. That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's do a quick rest. I'm so glad I found... Wait, it's me! Huh? It's oh. Elfira from the Grove. Oh, hi! Yes, hi, Elfira from the Grove. What are you doing out here? I'm sorry for barging in like this, but I had to come find you. You've well, inspired me. Oh. I want to stand on my own two feet. To prove that I can be half the Bardley Harlow was. I want to join you. To fight by your side. I want to help people. As you've helped me. Are you sure? I lead a dangerous life, you know. I've been running since El Terrell. And when we finally arrived at the Grove, we found danger there too. Unless I hide away from the world, I can't avoid it. So I'd rather face it head on. With you. I mean, you may join me. I I'd love to have you. We could sing more songs together, make more epic music videos. Really? Just like that? 
Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I like your outfit and I like your voice. Just keep it quiet here. Yeah? Just ignore her. I won't let you down. I promise. Of course, of course. Wow. I didn't think we would, uh... We'd get a new friend. Look at her just jamming out over here. Hell yeah. I can't wait to hit the road. Where will we go? Neverwinter? Oh, can we go to Waterdeep? Uh, well, right now we're exploring a spider cave, so... I need you to set your sights a little lower. Time, as my teacher would say. All right, well, happy to have you on board. Let's have a snack and rest up for tomorrow. You open your eyes with a lurch, and you are not in your bed. Oh no. Gladys, what did you do? <laughs> Stand above a body which is in a state of gore nearly beyond uh -oh. recognition. Oh! My god. Is this a dream? Eyes with a lurch. I hope this is a dream. Not in your bed. You stand above a body. Why did it replay again? Nearly beyond recognition. The body of that brave girl. Who oh my god. Her life to your cause. Her blood covers you, and its warmth feels like the embrace of an old friend. You recall nothing of how you ended up here, but your head pounds and aches. My jaw has dropped. I was just so excited about Alfura joining the party and Gladys disemboweled her. Oh my god. Okay, Gladys, investigate your surroundings, look for an explanation. Whew. Success. There are dozens and dozens of wounds on the corpse. The killer did not stop savaging it even when she was long gone. Oh my god. And your dominant arm aches. It aches from stabbing over and over. Yes! It appears. The body is there, and her blood is on your hands. The question flows through your mind. Who are you, really, that you could be guilty of such bitter business? Oh, my God. Wonder. What curse is in your heart to kill in your sleep? Something wicked must have woken you. The contemptible pervert within must have lavished slash after slash upon the girl. But where, oh where could that monster have come from? If only you knew yourself better. You don't have much time for reflection now. You need to act. You may only have a few moments before the others awaken and begin to cast blame for the hot sin before you. How did they not awaken before now? If I stabbed her multiple times, guys, this dark urge play dark urge playthrough is wild. Every time something crazy like this happens, I just do not expect it at all, and my jaws just dropped. Um Oh my god, what are we gonna do? I don't know. What do you do when you murder someone in your sleep? Try to hide the body? I guess. Oh my god, it worked. A light and delicate girl. There should be no trouble at all to toss her into a ditch. What is? Roll her away, further bloodying your hands as you do. Oh my god, I feel so bad. You have gotten away with murder. Aren't people gonna wonder where she is? Whoa, I cannot believe that happened. Sweet Alfira joined us, so excited to hit the road, and I murdered her in a gruesome fas fashion. Oh my god! There's still, like, the circle of death! Did anyone see this? We even got her loot. Oh, that's so dark. This loot's wooden body is worn dull from time and use. But its strings and frets are still in excellent condition. Does it make us a crazy person if we use it? Probably. We should, but we need to honor her somehow. Oh, good news! Doggy's here! Oh, I needed this good news, Scratch. I needed this good news. Come here. Grandma Gladys got you. I swear to God, Gladys, if you do anything to Scratch in your sleep, you may as well just jump off a cliff. There's no redeeming you. 
Did anyone notice? I don't know. Let's go and talk to like Shadowheart and see. I've heard you can't get blood from a stone, but apparently you can get a wizard from one. Gale seems interesting. Oh, Gale, yeah, let's talk about him. Those murals in the grove, something about them seemed to catch your eye. What can I say? They were eye catching. Consider me an art lover. Okay, that's it. No one's gonna ask me why I'm covered in blood or why there's blood on the ground. I actually think we got away with murder. I mean, I still feel the guilt in my chest, but like... A good wizard is hard to find. Let's make Gale feel welcome as best we can. All everyone wants to talk about is, is, is Gale. Should we try to confide in someone, maybe? Uh, let's see. I might regret this. Well, I... I I woke up with a guilty conscience and I need to talk to someone. I've got this bloodthirst, an urge to destroy, maim, and kill. It really goes against my normal urges to entertain, love, and hug. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids, suffered insertion of a mind-bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. What about a sweet young bird? <laughs> okay, that didn't help. Anyone else got any advice? Sterian? Something's on my mind. You're staring at me again. What do you want? Uh, nothing. Wow, I cannot believe that happened. Oh, Gail, you want to talk to me? Good. Let's talk about something else, shall we? Spare me a moment, if you please. I've something important to discuss with you yeah sure we've been traveling together for a while now and it's just about time that i shared something with you it's a rather personal matter that i'd prefer to keep quiet but needs must when the devil drives i have no choice but to speak you see i have this condition very different from the parasite we share but just as deadly sounds a little like my condition uh, what kind of condition? Do you also murder people in your sleep? The specifics are rather personal, but suffice it to say that it is a malady I've learned to live with. And not without some effort. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. Oh, uh, okay. So your illness causes you to consume raw magic? I'm gonna need the details. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, since before we were abducted. It is time, and by that I mean it's imperative that I find and consume strands of weave at the earliest possible juncture. Um... Where do you suggest we find the artifacts you need? We've already done the finding. In fact, you have one in your possession. I do? You know for yourself how hard one such an item was, and it will be no easier when even more are required to assuage my hunger. There'll be danger involved. Or great cost. Why exactly would I risk either of those things for a wizard I barely know? Valid question. If not out of the simple goodness of your heart, then perhaps your own self-interest might be sufficient motivation. Having a wizard like me around is quite the boon when facing the perils that stalk these lands. It'd be far harder for me to assist you if I could barely stand upright. Please, trust me. Your help could be the difference between life and death. I mean, luckily for you, Gale. I woke up with a very guilty conscience this morning, so very well. I'll do my best to get you what you need. As luck would have it, you're already primed to give me exactly what I need. Uh, okay. What will happen to this item should I give it to you? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Okay, here. 
We've got two to choose from. The Cap of Curing, which is what I currently have equipped, which I do not want you to take. Gloves of Missile Snaring, which I also have equipped that I don't want you to take. <laughs> On second thought, I don't have anything I want you to take. Ugh. Can I, like, get back to you? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna give him the speedy light feet. And you owe me one. Thank you. the spot. Glad to hear it. I feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Uh, perhaps now you'll tell me what all this is in aid of? Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is much better served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. All right. Don't mention it. I'm glad I could help. I really needed it today <laughs> to uh, even out my karma. My lady... I bowed your boundless kindness. Oh my goodness, thank you. All you need is a bow and you get Gladys wrapped around your finger. All right, well, that was a very, very dark night. It was a good thing that we took, uh, took a rest in this sketchy cave, because talk about a better place to dump a body, am I right? We literally have piles of bones here. No one's going to notice, but oh my goodness, that was quite something. All right, let's leave camp. Get back into this spooky, scary spider cave. What else do we have down here? We got skeletons. We've got an apprentice's pack. Inside is a journal. 3 Uktar 1371 DR. Let it be known that I left my homeland because I was bound to my master and not because I chose to. Were it not for the oath I swore, I would still be home serving the Zulkirs and not tending to hogpox in this crude hamlet. However, an oath is an oath and I will serve him as is my duty until I am released. The early journal entries are written in a delicate, intricate script that gets rougher and wilder the more pages you turn. It ends with one hastily scrawled entry. They did it. The dark justiciers got the old bastard before the Zulks could. Now he's bleeding out, and once he's gone, I'll be free of this oath. I can go back. I'll return the tome of necromancy he stole. They'll forgive me then. They'll know I'm loyal. The key gem's secure in the tunnels. Once I have it, I'll slip into the cellar, take what I can carry, and then home. Interesting. Okay. We'll equip this ring. Sounds like there was a very unhappy apprentice who may have some loot for us to find. Oh no, a dead goblin child. So much dead today. So much loot here though. I love this. It makes me think, what's the catch? You know? <laughs> A lot of loot, but I don't see any spiders yet. It's definitely freaking me out a bit. This is a really big cave. A lot of people have apparently wandered in here. Anything of use? Keep getting entangled in webs and <gasps> We keep getting good loot, so it's worth it, right? What's a little untangling when you get loot? Ooh, what do we have in here? Uh-oh. This place looks spooky. I see a cleaver and meat. Uh, hopefully that was someone's lunch. Bloody journal. Though originally a screed on Lolf, penned in blood, the 
book's crimson script has been smeared away in several places, a different hand writing atop it. I recall my life upon the surface with more than regret. I weep for the decades spent treading the murky waters of profanity while my true queen waited in the shadows. Even my name, Iliot, feels foreign and foul upon my tongue. A, ha a high elf exalted by Loth herself. My drow captors cannot fathom it, but I see their houses downfall in visions granted by the Spider Queen herself. When the day comes, when some unnamed whelp from an insignificant house cuts the matron mother's throat, I will escape. I will find solitude, and I will worship Loth with my very soul. Alright, it sounds like there was uh, some sort of fanatic living down here. This book's leaves are stuck together with thick webbing that leeches ink when pulled from the page. Only the final entry remains remotely legible. It is time. I will forever transcend this blasphemous flesh and refashion myself in the queen's image. No longer will I be bound to this lowly form, this base shape of organ and bone. Even the arachnomancers of Menzo Baranzin shall weep at my feet, their little spells so feeble and fleeting. Today I found the House of Lulth, and I shall be its matriarch." Did someone turn themselves into a spider? We found spider step boots, which give you immunity to being in webbed. That sounds useful. I'm going to put those on right away. A journal filled with hastily sketched diagrams of spiders and various spell runes. The captions are largely written in code, save for a few passages near the end that are penned in shaky common. They can sense my devotion. It draws them. I hear them in the shadows, whispers from the Dark Mother. I woke to a gift wrapped in spider's silk, a pair of boots taken from a heretic's corpse. Loth sends her daughters to reward my faith, to let me know I'm on the right path. Another gift, the corpse of a drow, sigil scarred upon his face. An arachnomancer one with the power to inhabit the spider's form. It is a message, a calling. My blood already dries upon the dagger, her blessed image carved into my skin. So is Lulk like the spider god or something? An ornate diagram is drawn upon this parchment depicting a ritual of some kind. At the bottom, two figures, a spider and an elf, are sketched within overlapping circles. A single word is penned beneath them. Transcendence. I can think of nothing worse than being turned into a spider, yet this girl apparently did it very willingly. At least she had some good loot. But okay. By the sounds of it, I guess she lives down here. This spider queen was once an elf. I guess we're gonna have to go find her. We should probably equip everyone with torches. So we can see a little better. Let's take all these. Alright guys, it has been an action pack today. First we found a secret room, then we had to fight spiders, then we accidentally murdered someone, and now we're hearing all about this elf turned spider that's apparently down here. I hate spiders, so I'm gonna take it as Gladys's sacred duty to eradicate them from the world, but we'll call it a day here to gather ourselves and prepare for what's sure to be a gross battle ahead. Thanks everyone so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you guys back here again soon for some more Baldur's Gate 3.